Hello, this is Max with Avon Website Pro. And last lesson, we learned how to create, uh, you know, tables so we can insert uh, information into them. Now, the idea of these lessons are just short, sweet lessons, uh, so we get right to the point. So, uh, and they consist of one after another, so that whenever people reference them in the future, be able to get to them quickly. Okay, so this is the code. You know, when we want to insert information into a database. And so here's the, uh, the, we created a table called about. It has an ID, a description, and a timestamp. So uh, now let's say that we want to put information into a database. So we're going to just grab this little code right here. Okay, copy. And we're going to create a new file in our max folder. Let me get this whole thing in here so you can see what's going on. Create new file, insert.php. Okay, and there we go. We have our insert, and we're going to start off with our PHP tags. Okay, just like that, and we're going to go ahead and paste this little piece of code that we got from Avon Website Pro. But we're missing a couple of things. What are we missing? Well, we have to include the config file because that gives us our connection to the database, does it not? So this is our config file with all our information in it. So what we want to do is grab this little piece of code. And we want to put that right here. Okay, include config. And what table are we inserting into? Well, we're in, going to insert into the table that we just created. So the table that we created was about. Okay, so we want to make sure that we want to insert into the about. And this is the ID. Okay, and the next one is called description. Okay, description. And the next one is called reg underscore date. Okay, so these are the three that we can insert. But since ID is an auto increment, okay, and it's it's going to auto populate, I really don't even need that. Okay, I don't need that at all. And reg date is a timestamp. It's going to automatically put the timestamp in it. So I don't need that at all. Okay, all I need is a variable two down here. Okay, which is the center one. Okay, and that doesn't even have to be variable two. That could just be var. And up here we'll have we'll set our variable to uh, this is some info, just like that. We'll terminate it. Okay, so we're included our config file. Here's the the var we're setting this to. This is some info, and we're going to insert into about the about table, the description table row, and we're going to put this variable in it. This is some info. We need to be able to connect to our database, so we need to grab this little connection right here, and we need to put that in right there, okay? And then we should close out our database too at the end, db close, okay? So at the end, let's go ahead and close out our database. And we'll save that. So now we have our config file. We're making our connection right here uh, to the database, right? And then here's the little uh, prefix because it requires two parameters. And we're going to insert to the about table and the dis tab table row description and the, the variable. This is some info. And then we're going to close the database. And we'll just save that file so it uploads. And we'll bring over our browser window here. And we'll load up that DJWH max insert.php and let that script run. Okay. And uh, if you keep refreshing this, it's going to put in the script that th the same thing several times. Okay. So just to show you what I'm talking about, let's go to the database that we're uh, messing around with. Okay. So let's go to DJWH database. And we're all. And we want to go to the about table that we created. Ignore all. And look, I refreshed the page several times. And this is some info each time. So that's how you'll put information into a database uh, with PHP MySQL. -y. All right. So that's that's one way to do it. And remember, we set this variable. So we'll get into form processing later with HTML, where I'll show you how to grab those form variables to insert into the database. This is Max with AIM Website Pro.
I hope you appreciate these simple little tutorials. Let me know uh, how it's going for you.